Peggy 16. Sega. Hello and welcome to the Shogun 2 Total War Battle Report. My name's Kieran Brigden and I'm the Studio Communications Manager for the Creative Assembly, the studio behind Shogun 2 Total War. And I'm joined today by Ingemar Goodman and... Good, Goodman... Ingemar, um, who will of course introduce himself now. Hi, I'm Ingemar Goodmanson, uh, Land Battle AI Programmer. Yep, and Ingemar, as well as having an extremely difficult to pronounce name, um, is of course our Battle AI Programmer for Land Battle. So he'll be kind of going through what the AI is going to do today and telling us a little bit about what we can expect from the AI in Shogun 2. Just to note, please, this is pre-alpha footage, so please don't judge us too harshly. We've got a little way to go in development yet. As you can see here, the unit detail in Shogun 2 is far beyond and above what we've been able to achieve in Total War's predecessors, with almost double the amount of body parts per unit. The general speeches also make a welcome return in Shogun 2. Um, all of these, of course, are varied and different, depending on exactly your general's personality, his attitude toward the enemy, and any conflicts and battles you may have fought with the enemy previously, bringing a level of realism to the battlefield that makes you feel like you've genuinely created and worked within a long-going campaign. We'll be playing as the Chosokabe faction, seen here, the guys in the black armour with the white mons on their banner, and we're playing against the evil and dastardly Takeda faction, who of course have the red banners with the black mons on them. Okay, so with the general speeches done and my army suitably buoyed, uh, we're ready to enter combat. So, uh, my army is going to consist of the very brave General Motochika, five katana cavalry, of course, samurai on horseback, four katana samurai, very good elite kind of hand-to-hand -hand units, five Yari Ashigaru, that's peasants with spears, and five Bo Ashigaru, that's peasants with bows. And Ingemar, what's the Takeda forces going to consist of? Right, so the uh, Takeda army is made up of the fearsome General Shigen, four Katana units, five Yari Ashigaru units, and double the amount of Bo Ashigaru as the player has. So, the, you can see now that the uh, Takeda's moved forwards toward our line, and our own Chosokabe samurai are now being sent forward to engage them. I guess, Ingemar, my question here is, when does the AI know how to be aggressive or defensive? Coming in from the campaign map, we'll, it will have certain objectives to complete. Now, those objectives, we've loosened the coupling between the two so that the AI now should be more flexible, so that it's, if it's completely outnumbered on the attack, it might be a bit defensive, or vice versa, if it's massively overpowering on the defense, it might be aggressive. Okay, so, um, as you can see now, the matched combat's coming into play. All of these units are attacking one another in very well motion captured hand-to-hand -hand matched combat. Um, we use, of course, uh, real professional martial artists in order to motion capture this stuff to make sure it's as realistic as possible. Unfortunately, all the matched combat in the world doesn't help, and my own samurai are roundly beaten and routed from the battlefield in complete dishonor. Um, and the enemy samurai return to their lines. We're sending our archers forward, and they'll, of course, be protecting the bulk of our army, made up, of course, of these poor Yari uh, peasants. So, um, Ingemar, tell me, does the AI kind of get affected by seeing large numbers of men marching towards its position? Definitely. The uh, AI is human, just like the player is human. We're all human here. <laughs> <laughs> what you're saying is the AI has human emotions. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Um, it will get scared of the player's army, just like the player's army should tremble between the mighty AI army. <laughs> Hey, he's a proud father. Okay, so you can see now that uh, we've spotted a weakness on the, uh, the far right-hand side as we see it. We send a single unit of cavalry to attack. As you can see, my cavalry now racing across the open field. Hopefully we'll get there in time. And no, unfortunately I'm ambushed by a whole load of archers who are hidden in the trees and they're hitting me with these horrible fire arrows which do a ton of damage um, and have a decent amount of range. So my entire cavalry charge is decimated before it reaches its goal. Is this a common thing to see the AI use these upgrading kind of tactics? Depending on what the AI has to play with, it will definitely use it to its maximum potential. Awesome. So um, as you can see there, it's routed my troops and it's now decided it's confident enough to move forward. Is this again another natural development in the battle? So, you know, when the AI feels like it's got the upper hand and I've thrown some men at it and lost, is it going to be ready to come out and engage me? If you sacrifice a large portion of your force and it sees a good attack opportunity, it will go for it. Um, okay, so now we've got this massive charge of AI units moving in on our position. We're of course engaged with these fire arrows from the left and the right. It is time to take my human brain and outwit the machine. So. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and try and sneak them around the back um, and see if I can attack using my cavalry from a hidden position. I'm hoping this is a tactic that will work. On some occasion, if you've got speed, yes. Awesome. So the AI can actually be taken kind of by surprise. It's not going to know everything about the battlefield at all moments. No, it could be busy doing something else. Oh, 
All right, so you can see now that my uh, my cavalry's made it around the back, and with a few clicks of the mouse, I'm going to have a giant silhouetted wall of death cresting the arch here. And here they come. They're coming through the trees and smash the enemy archers to pieces. The force of gravity carrying those heavy horse samurai down the hill, smashing those archers left, right, and centre. So we're now going to turn our attention with the cavalry onto the remaining archer unit in that forest um, and try and mop up this enemy flank so as we can then turn our attention on their central line. Uh, so I've now routed the uh, AI who are in this forest and I'm going to turn the entire of this cavalry that's now behind the enemy line um, and rush it into the rear and of course I'm still pressing them from the front with my own meat grinder Ashigaru units. Um, and we're now making some serious damage. We can see now, oh excellent, it's going to be a chain round. The, uh, the enemy army is, of course, all of the units are panicking and going as one. So this, this morale system really affects the AI as much as it affected my units earlier in the battle. You can see now we've destroyed and routed the enemy army. Uh, they're in full flight, and unfortunately for them, dishonor and shame awaits them back home, whilst honor, Saki, and a long night party await my own very, very victorious troops. Um, thank you very much, everybody, for watching, and of course, thank you to Ingmar for joining me today um, and uh, for outlining some of what we can expect from the battle AI in Shogun 2 Total War.